We are now in bonus segment number 10, in which it's time to play Jeopardy 2nd Edition for the PlayStation. We just got finished playing the first edition of Jeopardy for PlayStation and won $50,000. And in the Jeopardy round, we did hear those words of, that is incorrect. We won't hear it this game, though, so... All right. Playing Jeopardy 2nd Edition on the PlayStation. Hey, Tiger. Yep. Come on, boy. Atta boy. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gibbs. Tournament of Champions. One player. From the Sony Pictures Studio. This is Jeopardy! Hi, and welcome to Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions. You know, only the very best players are invited to participate in our tournament. So congratulations to each of you. Let's get started. Let's do this. What a bundle. Yep, Tiger, this is Jeopardy 2nd Edition. Let's get some good categories. Hopefully we do. Don't be an ass. Notice <laughs> in quotation marks. Festive food. Fiction. Ordinal number, please. Politicians. And just to finish things off, American Fact Book. All right. Player one, your turn. American Factbook 100, please. In the 1996 book, The President's, a reference history, he's the last entry. Who is Bill Clinton? Player one. Well done, yes. Uh, American Factbook for 200. Of 1 in 20, 1 in 50, or 1 in 100, the average number of people who will serve prison time in their lifetime. Player one. What is one in twenty? Yes. Uh, American back for three hundred. Answer: The Daily Double. Player one, please make your way. To Let's do five hundred. Larry Harmon began playing this famous clown in the 1940s in public appearances for Capitol Records. Oh, uh, who is Bozo? Player one. That's it. Bozo the Clown, yep. Uh, 400, please, for American Fact Book. Pioneer 10, which was launched in 1972 to study this largest planet, was retired in 1997. What is Jupiter? Player one. Yes, indeed. American Factbook 500. One of these storms, named Diana, hit the U.S. in September of 1984. What is a hurricane? Player one. Definitely. Festive food 100. Oops. Eloise suggests dyeing your kid pancakes this color on St. Patrick's Day. What is green? Player one. Yes, indeed. Uh, let me have Don't Be an Ass for 100. This style of factory line revolutionized business in the 20th century. What's an assembly line? Player one. That's right. Don't be an ass, 200. Notorious distinction shared by Ray, Sirhan, and Boot. What is an assassin? Player one. Oh, regrettably. Oh, no. 
That's okay. Layer two. They are all presidential assassin assassins. Okay. I need to be more specific. It's okay. It's okay. Your choice. Fiction. For one hundred points. This hero of the eighth later hung out with ant men, lion men, and leopard men. Who's Tarzan? Layer one. Well done, yes. Uh, fiction for two. Layer one, what will it be? Like the hero, the author of the 1817 novel Rob Roy was of this nationality. The hero, I'll say what's Welsh. Layer one. Ooh. No. Sorry. It's not Welsh. Layer two. He was Scottish, the other one. Yes. I had a choice and I picked the wrong one. It was Scottish. Player two, you choose. Let's try ordinal lumber, please, for 100 hours. It's where Washington was in war, in peace, and in the heart of his country. What is first? Player one. That's it. Ordinal lumber, please, for 200. Player one. Nervous breakdown the Rolling Stones suffered in the 60s. Player three. 19. That's right. Okay. Player three, it's your turn. Politicians for 100. During the 1988 primary campaign, this vice president quipped, what's wrong with being a boring kind of guy? Who is Dan Quayle? Player one. No, that's not right. Sorry. Uh, Player two? George Bush. Oh, yeah. That's it. Your choice, Player two. Politician. For 200, please. On January 7th, 1997, he became the first Republican in 68 years to win successive terms as House Speaker. Layer two. Newt Gingrich. Yes. Politicians. For 300, please. In 1996, this Green Mountain State's Bernie Sanders was re-elected as the lone independent in the House. Uh, what is Vermont? Layer one. Yes, indeed. Uh, 400, please. Layer one, your turn. Paul Fish is 400. This Kennedy was chairman of the Senate Labor and Human Services Committee from 1987 to 1995. Layer one. I'll say who was John F. Kennedy Jr. No. I don't think it's Robert Kennedy. I'll say who was Ted Kennedy. No. Who? Layer two. Edward M. Kennedy. All right. Definitely. Nine hundred dollars going to Wayne Incorporated. Your turn, layer two. Festive food for two hundred dollars. You can make pudding as well as pie from the pulp of this jack-o'-lantern plant. What's a pumpkin? Layer one. You're correct. Uh, best food for 300, please. Your choice, player one. Cheese crepe and cheese blintzers are suggested dishes for Shavuot, a holiday of this religion. Player three. Judaism. Yes. 
You would, player three? Ordinal number, please. For 300. Shakespeare's night to remember. What is 12? Player one? You're correct. Uh, order number, please, for four. Player one, what will it be? A Broadway musical, Street. What is 42nd? Player one? That's right. 500? Your helper in a duel. Player one. What is second? You got it. Yay. Uh, let's have Don't Be an Ass for 300. This LA band's first number one hit was Cherish. For the associates. Player one. Nice try, but that is incorrect. Boop. Player two. The association. All right. Yes. All right. Your choice. Fiction. For three hundred dollars. In a Dumas novel, the man in this uncomfortable piece of apparel is Louis the Fourteenth. What is Iron Mask? Player one. Definitely. 400. Uh, fiction. Player one. In a Kipling story, this mongoose heroically battles a cobra. Player three. Ricky Tiki Tabi. That's right. Yes. Couldn't remember. Player three. What will it be? Festive food. For 400. Cinco de Mayo is the perfect time to serve margaritas and this classic avocado dip. What is guacamole? Player one? Right you are. Uh, let's have festive food for 500. Player one, your turn. This Hawaiian island celebrates its famous onions with an annual festival that includes a recipe contest. I have between two of them. Player three? Maui was one of my two guesses. Definitely. But it was my second guess. Oahu was my first guess, but it's okay. I'm not worried about it. Three. Fiction for 500? Goosebumps is a series of scary books by this author. Who is R.L. Stein? Player one? Yes, indeed. Don't be an ass for 400. Player one. It was an ancient empire on the upper Tigris River. Player two. Assyria, yeah. Definitely. Player two, you choose. Let's do. Don't be an ass. For 500, please, Alex. It's the repetition of identical or similar vowel sounds, as in tilting at windmills. What is assonance? Player one? That's it. Now the last clip. Now to finish off the round. Bill Clinton awarded this presidential rival the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1997. Player two. Robert Dole. That's right. All right. Let's take a look and see how everyone's doing after the Jeopardy round. Excellent job, player one. Player two, you're not too far off the lead. You're in last place, player three, but you get to start things off in double jeopardy. Are you ready for double jeopardy? All right, let's go. Let's do this.
Let's get to the categories for double jeopardy. Let's do it. Middle names. 19th century America. Music appreciation. The Wizard of Oz. What's the currency? And just to finish things off, shoes. If you would, player three. What's the currency? For 200, please. In London, this is worth 100 pence. What is a pound? Player one. Well done. Yes. What's currency for 400? Player one, your turn. In Berlin, this is equal to 100 pennies. What is a Deutschmark? Player one. Oh, that's incorrect. Oh, no. Anyone at all? Player two. We're looking for the Deutschmark. Singular. You're correct. Your turn, player two. 19th century America. For 200, please. On February 6, 1899, the Senate ratified the Treaty of Paris, ending this conflict. The Spanish American War. All right. The Wizard of Oz. For $200. The Wicked Witch of the West dies when Dorothy throws this on her. What is water? Player one. You got it. Wizard of Oz for 400. Player one. The three kinds of animals fretted about in the forest. Oh my. What are lions, tigers, and bears? Player one. Well done, yes. Where's the Ravala 600? It's the part of the tin man's head that Dorothy oils first. What is his mouth? Player one? Exactly. Where's the Ravala 800? The warning on the haunted forest signpost says, I'd do this if I were you. What is turn back? Player one. Yes. Where's your balls 1,000? This type of animal pulls the coach in the Emerald City. Is that it? Anyone? A horse of a different color. All right. Uh, what's the currency for 600? In Tokyo, this equals 100 cents. What's the yen? Player one. Definitely. Uh, 800, please. What's the currency? In Moscow, 100 kopecks make up this. What are rubles? What's a ruble? Player one. Yes, indeed. What's currency a thousand? In Italy, this is equal to 100 centesimi. What's a lira? Player one. Definitely. Okay. I'll take, uh, next century record for 400. He served as governor of the Utah Territory until President Buchanan removed him in 1857. Who's Brigham Young? Player one. Exactly. Uh, next century record for 600. In 1888, this suffragette organized the International Council of Women. Who is Susan B. Anthony? Like one. Right you are. Next century record for 800. To extend his influence over the Pacific Northwest, he founded the Pacific Fur Company in 1810. 
Layer three. John Jacob Astor. You're correct. Okay, layer three. Middle names. For 200, please, Alex. Leroy was the middle name of this cartoonist, believe it or not. Who's Ripley? Layer one. You got it. Middle name's 400. Your choice, player one. It's the middle and more familiar name of playwright Marvin Simon. What is Neil? Player one. Yes. Uh, let's have 600. Yo, this Rocky Star's middle name is either Enzio or Gardenzio, depending on who you ask. Who is Sylvester Stallone? Player one. Yes, indeed. Uh, middle name is 800. Answer? The Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager. It was FDR's middle name. What is Delano? Player one. You're a gambler, player one, but... You're right. Way to go. Middle name is 1,000. It was the middle name of author Ralph Ellison and essayist Ralph Emerson, for whom he was named. What is Waldo? Player one? Exactly. 19th century America for a thousand. Answer? The Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager. 2600. His flagship, the Lawrence, was destroyed by British gunfire September 10th, 1813. Player one. Who is Robert Fulton? Oh, we're going to be no. No, not Robert Fulton. We're looking for Hazard Perry. So let's add $2,600 to Wamey Inc.'s bank. They're getting $4,200 now. All right. I'll take his appreciation for $200, please. How time flies. August 16, 1997 was the 20th anniversary of his untimely death. Who is Elvis Presley? Player one. That's it. I'll take uh, his appreciation for 400 He performed with Crosby, Stills, and Nash in 1970 and with Pearl Jam 25 years later. Who is Neil Young? Player one. You got it. Uh, this appreciates for 600, please. Of Shogun, King Rat, or Taiban, the James Clavell novel that became a musical in 1990. What is Shogun? Player one. Yes, indeed. This sparkly singer wrote, You are the sun, I am the moon. You are the words, I am the tune. Play me. Who is Neil Diamond? Player one. You're correct. Have I told you lately, a 1993 top ten hit for this singer was written by Van Morrison. Who is Rod Stewart? Player one. Right you are. This type of shoe has a slot in the strap across each vamp into which a coin can be inserted. What is a penny loafer? Player one. That's it. 400. The lad who's the symbol of a line of Sherwin Williams paints wears this type of shoes. Player three? Sabos. Yes. 
You would play with three? Shoes. For 600, please. These boots, named for a British general, became popular during the Napoleonic Wars. Layer two. Wellies. You got it. Your choice, player two. Shoes. For 800, Alex. Miranda, Spectator, and Dorsey are types of this slip-on women's shoe. Layer two. The pump. All right. That's right. And the final answer of the round. This flat shoe normally has a cloth upper and a flexible rope sole. Player three. An espadrille. Right you are. All right, final jeopardy. That brings us to the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's take a quick look at the scores. Player one, you've got the lead going into final jeopardy. Player two, you're not too far off the lead. Don't count yourself out, player three. All right, now it's time for final jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Our final jeopardy category is holidays. Player three, can we have your wager, please? Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. Player three. Player two. Alphabetically, the federal legal public holidays in the U.S. run from Christmas to this. I'll say what is Veterans Day. Player one. All right, let's see how everyone did. Player three, your question. That's right. And the wager was? Bet it all, so you're at 7,200. Player two, your question. Sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Everything, so you end up with nothing this game. Player one, your question. That's right. And, your wager was and I end up with $25,000. Not bad, not bad. And that's all for the Tournament of Champions. Let's see how everyone did. Congratulations to our winner. <laughs> Oh, what a good game. Thank you so much for playing Jeopardy. Bye for now. See you all for that next bonus segment, everybody.